Stealth is down, Swarm down, Colossus is down. Main new coaster is not open. The flat ride they were repenting, not open as well. We're in Tower Park, so this is the opening day, first day of the season. We're going first to Colossus. Colossus has had a bit of a paint job over the winter. It's only on 30 minutes, so it's got the shortest queue out of all the big ones at the moment. So we're going to head there first. Stealth is down right now. When we were arriving, uh, he was going. I don't know. Do you see if he was testing? Yeah, I saw it test. Yeah. He was testing, right? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we will be later because I really want to do stealth today. So unfortunately, we did get stuck on the M25. There was a little minor accident, but they shut off all the lanes. We were due to get here about half nine and we got here about 11 in the end. Park opened at 10, so we already lost one hour of the park. Yeah, good old M25. Let's see if we can at least do all the main rides. And fly fish because I need that credit. We're just seeing Hyperia for the first time. Oh. Right next to Colossus. And unfortunately, it's not open on the opening day of the season of Tour Park, which is a shame because I am really excited to do Hyperia. Yeah, it seems like it was a delayed decision to build it because normally, I know Fort Park hasn't built a coaster in 12 years, but normally all the other coasters open on opening day. Yeah. Colossus is down now. It's open. It's so down again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one. Sorry. Priority one cast for any non roller coaster at Fort Park. Yeah. Non roller coaster? Non roller coaster. <laughs> I don't get it. So. <laughs> oh. Wow, how can you just shit on someone so badly? <laughs> oh my, whoa. So, an hour and a half we were in the queue for, 30 minute queue for Colossus. Yeah, so, but the thing is like, it, it went down twice. But the first time that it went down, we were already 45 minutes on the queue. And we were like halfway there. Even oh. if it wasn't down, the queue was going to be yeah. one hour or yeah. more. A non-coaster. All the non-coasters are only on like 15 minutes today. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we're, and the only non-coaster I really want to do is bloody Samurai. And that's, um, that's shut for painting. This is ridiculous. Well done, our park. Well yeah, done. and they haven't really painted it. They just painted the cobra roll. That's the bit that pissed me off as well. So they call it a sparkle project, and they've done not even half a sparkle on Colossus. Yeah, so oh. opening day, the main new coaster is not open. The flat ride they were repenting, not open as well. First ride that we went there, went down twice, and they gave a non-coaster fast pass. Yeah. Again, well done. Oh, um, <laughs> well done. I'm not too impressed. Although, I tell you what, we're by this sort of like Hyperia area. The Burger King is looking pretty good, to be fair. <laughs> got a bit of sparkle. I mean, admittedly, one gates and they can't open, but I don't know. It's looking good. Um, I, I don't like it. It looks like a box. Looks clean. <laughs> Which isn't what you can say about the rest of the uh, Not all of it's looking that I, clean. I don't know. I, I really don't like it. I'm not saying that because I'm annoyed with Turpart. I don't know. I'm just like, yeah, it was a terrible start. Now, what, what are we doing with this? Ah, uh, I don't know. Put it in the bin. <laughs> no, we'll go, go no. let's go, let's try and go on a ride. We've been here a couple hours now and got ourselves a free fast pass for a non coaster ride. We can use the fast pass here with the 15 minute queue. Or we can use it here with the 10 minute queue. Or we could do this with the fast pass. Or we could do this. Flying Fish is a coaster, but it's included here, so we could do Flying Fish with it. It's on zero minutes. We can do this one on zero minutes. Or we can do the zero minute water ride. I am not doing tidal waves today. So the ghost train is on 25 minutes. You could do it and save a little bit of time. No, actually we can't because it's not on the non-coaster fast pass. But you need to be careful with the ghost train because it might shut you to wind. We queue one hour and a half to use the fast pass on a 15 minute queue. So, 
Yeah. Anyway, where, where are we going? Nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah, let's go Nemesis. Okay, to say a good thing about this part, the ghost train is like my favorite ride here so far. It's not the best ride, but I think it's something very unique from here. I love how it's different from other dark rides, so I really appreciate that. Ghost tech guy and guy. Let's um, see what the queue on this itself. Run fast. Change of plans. We just saw that stealth is back. So we're running. It's only like 20 minutes. Okay, we made it to the queue. Now I hope it stays open until we go there. 15 minute queue is huge. Everything I did here in Tor Park had longer kills than they advertised, so I was not expecting to be 15, especially because everyone was running, so... But it's still worth it, I want to kill for it. If this is 15 minutes, it would also not only be the world's fastest accelerating coaster, it would be the world's highest capacity roller coaster. Because there's no way you can get through this in 15 minutes. <laughs> We are now 35 minutes into this 15 minute queue and now it's starting to rain. It's over 1 pm, park would open at 10 and we still haven't been on any ride. I hope it stays open until we go there. Just open. <laughs> Yay! We've been on one ride! <laughs> After four hours and a half that the park is open, we managed to do one coaster. <laughs> so now I'm not even gonna bother looking at the queue times. We're just gonna go to Nemesis Inferno because I know the queue times is gonna be wrong. So what's the point? I know they can't predict that the coaster is gonna go down, but it's, it's every time, every time, here, they they just, they just every, every time is wrong. Even when the coaster don't go down, they're still wrong. We decided to queue for the front, which I think it was worth it. I feel like with stealth, it's so worth doing on the front. The experience is so much different, so much better. The world's fastest accelerating coaster. Putting the caveat there in case anyone wants to call Max Force out. <laughs> stealth is amazing, so much better on the front. I don't think it, it compares with King Daka. <laughs> I still think King Daka is better. The launch is really good. It doesn't compete with going 128 miles now. Yes, it takes a little bit slower to get to that 128 miles per hour, but you're going 128. Whereas still, even, even Red Force, I prefer Red Force over Stealth as well. Yeah, it's, I find this a very difficult debate between Red Force and Stealth because Red Force, you can have a conversation at the start of the launch where Stealth just hits you, but at the end of Red Force's launch on an LSM doing 111 miles an hour that is impressive and when you're going up that high and the whole so, yeah the top head so much better on red force yeah you're going up for red force it's the end of the launch on red yeah force the, the launch on stealth is really good but the top head it, it's still great it's still my favorite coaster in the uk but when you compare it to the other coasters that are similar the, the same model i think it's the weakest even though it has like the better launch You Yay, got plus one. Plus one for me. So we went on Nemesis Inferno and I really, really like it. I think I might like Nemesis Inferno more than Nemesis. What? Oh, right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. It felt really intense. I mean, it felt a lot better. I'm going to give it that. But yeah, it was, it's, it, been, it rode very well today. It was running very well. 
Yeah, I never wrote it before, but I really enjoyed it. And I like the teaming. You said that they usually have smoke effects yeah, and lights, so right? Yeah, so normally, or they used to have, after they're like a little drop out of the station, then you go through a tunnel with mist effects and red lights. And it's really cool. I would love yeah. to see it like that. Yeah, I mean, I thought they meant to do a sparkle project, so I'm quite surprised that they didn't bring that back. So that's one of the main like unique elements of Nemesis and Fennel is that drop and that tunnel and exactly and stuff, I yeah. even without the effects it's really cool the way the queue goes up the stairs with all the rock work Something on the queue then with that drop straight from the station is that yeah. where we're going yeah right? so we're going to go to cinema now we're going to go ready fair one yeah so yeah. this is the new thing that they have right now oh. as well the new movie and yeah we're just going to check it yeah, why not? It's getting a bit cold, so go inside, <laughs> warm up a little bit. They've just activated the rainy day guarantee, so everyone's got a free ticket to come back. Oh, and we did queue for the front on Nemesis Inferno as well. Yeah. So this is something that I really like about here, where you can queue for the front. They have specific rows. You can choose whatever it It seems strange want. that Alton Towers, you can't, but exactly. here you can. Now, well, you used to be able to do the same in Nemesis, and now... With Nemesis Reborn, you can't anymore. That was a huge disappointment. Yeah. Yeah, we did the party movie. It's it's alright. <laughs> so I, I had a good first half, a weak second half. And it was felt a bit cheap in places. Yeah, the, the glasses is very cheap. So it's a paper, 3D glasses. I don't think it was a problem. I think it was all right. Yeah. If it's my first day at the park, I wouldn't prioritize that. But if you have time, it's all right. Yeah, it was all right. I'm wondering, like, so we've walked into Detonate and now it says five minutes. But is it going to be five minutes? I'm yeah, th this queue is not five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a very definitely not five minutes. So we're gonna go do flying fish because Gabby still needs. That yeah, credit. I need the credit. I wanna go back and do detonator later because detonator is a great drop tower. I love it. It's one of the biggest forces on a drop tower in the world. Yes, so, yeah, the very high G force. Yeah, so it's not that tall, but it's really good. So because it's very forceful. Where they got the 4D fear, they have actually um briefing it this year. So that was where it used to be Angry Birds. Now it's just like a generic, big, easy boulevard, it's called. Um, yeah, it's all right. They just painted it, really. That's it. doesn't really look too different. It's just neat and up a little bit. I think if you were not told and you don't know much about Four Cock, you wouldn't notice. Exactly. It took me a while to realize that because I knew and I was like, oh, yeah, they were going to change this. I. <laughs> it's not like a very impressive change, but it looks good now. Ah, it's on zero minutes. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna wait zero oh, minutes for something. <laughs> uh, I, I actually cannot believe it because I don't think it's gonna be zero. One plus one, one plus one, one plus one. Yay! I zero the park now. Get all the credits. For now. Yes, for now. <laughs> uh, we would need to come back later for Hyperia, but. For now, I zero the park, and it's all right. It's like a my fart coaster. It's better than I was expecting, but it it doesn't get much speed on the second the second lap or no. the third. Yeah, it was three laps. I do think it's quite a long cycle you get on there. Yeah, um, it does feel yeah quite disorientating. I don't know. It feels a little <laughs> bit disorientating. Like, you keep uh, going around and around and around. Yeah, it's basically he lives. But it's all right. So here there is the magic carpet. We did it last time. I love magic carpets a lot, but this one I thought was a little bit weak. Colossus has been down all day now. Still yeah, testing. This, yeah, and Swarm is down as well. I really wanted to Swarm. We've 
than Walking Dead now. It's an indoor coaster and I quite like it. Uh, the team on inside the coaster is not the best, but the team on the queue and in the way out, they have some actors in the end. It's amazing. See, I think on the ride, it's got one of my favorite elements on like a mid course break where it pretends that yeah. it's broken and it purposely, it's like, we're going to restart you. We're trying to get you out. Yeah, that and I think really that's cool. really, really clever. So we have the fast pass that is not valid for anything with big kills. So the only thing that is kind of worth doing is like the swing because yep, rush. it's like, yeah, it's like 30 minute kill. We wanted to do that anyway. We love those swings. It was only on one arm operation. We had to get that done, obviously. It's one of my favorite flat rides, and I think it's really worth doing if we have the chance to not queue at all. You know, Rush was the biggest queue I ever did in my life. It's about three hours, just over three hours. What? Um, oh, it's so it's so good that you used the fast pass for <laughs> it today. Well, like that was a long time ago. That was pre sore. Pre-swarm. I think that was before stealth as well. Might be. You're gonna have to correct me if it <laughs> if that opened after stealth. But um, yeah, it was a long time ago, and it was on a Friday night. And yeah, it's just crazy busy. It's good. I always love. It's not the same. The swings, but I love them. We just had our last ride of the day on Saw. The main reason I want to go on Saw today is to look at Hyperia, but um, yeah, you're just going around the track and you can't really see too much of it. There was a bit where I did think one of the inversions interacts quite well with the lift hill of Hyperia as you're going up towards it. It's quite cool, but Saw is Saw. I think it's really iconic and the teaming is the key to the ride and the ride is it's okay. It's like... I like the first drop indoors. Yeah. Inside drop, the first one is really good. Yeah, vertical lift hills always make me a little bit nervous. I find but that one's more scary than others. I don't it know is. why. I, I, it's just something you about that one. almost feel like it was almost tilting back. I don't know. But I love the idea of the right. I love the little blades on the bottom of the drop. This is the first coaster that I knew from the UK. I remember seeing all the videos since I was a child. I think, oh, that's so cool. I hope I get a chance to go there one day. So it's really cool to come here and do it. The only thing I was saying before how much they always had the front row queue and they let you queue for the front. On this ride, they don't, which I think is a shame because it's kind of has more like a teaming to see. It's not much, but has some, there's like a parting doors and the whole vertical lift here and drop. I think it's better on the front. Colossus went back open the last 15 minutes of the park. So we were rushing to Saw and then Colossus was open. We we're like, oh, which one we go? But we ended up going to Saw. Yeah, just for the because, high period yeah. of views. That was the winning factor. Yeah, and I really wanted to go back on Saw as well. It's a shame that we ended up not doing yeah, I think anything like... Yeah, availability has been a bit poor today. Um, Swarm never reopened. That was shut for a long time. Yeah. Process was shut for a long time. So, Swarm opened for 10 minutes. We were in the queue for Walking Dead. We were planning to leave the queue and go Swarm. But by the time we left, the Swarm was already down again and didn't open. So, it was a shame. It's like the most predominant items in the shop is all their old logo and their old merchandise. Very strange. Shop. <laughs> Four part done. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a lot better than I thought it would be, to be honest. We did more rides than I was expecting. I think after not going on a coaster for the first four hours, it was kind of like, uh oh. Yeah. Um, four and a half. 
<laughs> but but then the rest of the day was actually really good. Yeah, the afternoon. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited to come back after Hyperia and then do Swarm and Colossus again. So this is the last of the UK parks opening days that we've been. We've been to Alton Towers and Blackpool already have the videos for that days. Now we're going to the airport because we're catching a flight to Brazil. Next week we're gonna go to Hopi Hari. So make sure to subscribe and watch this video next.